Hi all. In this lecture, we will study what is binary operation or what is closed operation. In the last video, I told you that algebraic structure is basically a non-empty set with some closed operation, one or more closed operation. So what is the definition of closed operation, binary operation and what is closure property that we will study in this lecture. So we will start with the closure property. So let's see what is closure property. This is the idea of closure property that what happens inside a set. You have a set, you have a base set. Okay, so what what happens inside a set should remain inside the set. So this is the idea. So I can say the definition of closure property: a set is closed under an operation. So you have a set on that set. You have some. You are defining some operation. Then I can say a set is closed under some operation if applying the operation on elements of this set produces another element of this set. Okay, so if you apply the operation on the elements of this set, means what happens inside the set? Means if you take any elements of this set. You apply the operation on elements of this set, then the result should be in this set. Okay, the result should be another element of this set. So, for example, set of integers and addition, this is closed. Set of integers and division, this is not closed. You can notice set of integers and addition. If you take this is your set, this is your base set integers. So, in this you have all the integers. If you take any two integers and you there you do their addition, okay, then the result also will be integer. Okay, so this is the idea. Whatever for all elements, whatever two elements you take here, if I take any two elements, any two integer I take, then their addition, their addition also will be, their addition will be basically a, uh, another integer. Okay, but you can notice integer comma division. Okay, you can notice that if I take this two comma five, then their division that will not be integer. Okay, so the set is integer. The set of integers you have now. If I take these two elements and I apply this operation division. Then the result will not be integer. The result will go outside the set. So this is not closed. So this is the idea of closure property. So closure property basically means you have a set S. This is your non-empty base set S. Okay, this set S is closed under operation star if and only if any two elements you take from this S. For all elements in this S, you take any two elements, same or different. Any two elements you take. Okay, the result. If you apply this operation, if you apply this operation, the result also should be in this set. Okay, so whatever for all the elements, whatever elements you take for all, remember. Okay, for all elements a comma b in this set, same or different, whatever element you take, the result also should be in this set. And what is the definition of not closed? Not closed basically means that there exists a comma b, same or different. There exists a comma b such that the result. If you apply this operation. The result does not belong to this set. This is the definition of not closed. For example, okay. So this is the definition of closure property. For example, if I give you this set, zero comma one, and if I apply, if I apply the operation addition, is this closed? Okay. This is your base set. In your base set, you have two elements. Okay. There are two elements in your base set. This is the base set, and we are applying the operation addition. Can I say this is closed? This is not closed. Why? Because you can notice that if I take these two elements. If I take a equal to one, b equal to one. If I take these two elements and I apply this operation, then the result will be two, and the result does not belong to the base set. So I can say that okay. If I take basically, if I do one plus one, then the result will be outside the set. Result will not be in the set. So idea of closure property basically means that you have a base set, and what happens in the base set should remain in the set. Okay. So from this set, whatever two elements you take, same or different. For example, here we are taking the same element, one comma one. So whatever two elements you take, same or different, if you apply this operation, then the result must be in this set. That is the idea of closure property. Okay. So now the next topic is what is binary operation. The binary operation basically the name itself is telling you binary. Binary means it will apply to two elements. These two apply. These two elements can be same or different. Okay. And it must be closed. So remember, binary means it will apply to two two elements. Okay, these two elements can be same or different. It will apply to two elements, and it must be closed. Means closure property must be satisfied. What it means? So you have two elements x comma y, and this operation will will apply on two elements. But one more thing. So if your set is S, okay, and then this this must be closed also. What it means? It means that if this is okay, if you take any two elements from this set, if you take any two elements from this set, then what should happen? Then the result, when you apply this operation, if you if this is your operation, if you apply this operation, then the result also should be in the set S. 
so this is the definition of binary operation binary operation basically means apply to two elements same or different and it must be closed means the result must be in the set okay so i can say binary operation is same as the closure property so this is the idea if this is your set a you take any two elements and you apply this operation then the result also must be in the set okay so this is the definition of binary operation so basically binary operation is a function from a cross a to a okay so remember this binary operation this is nothing but a, this is a function okay for example for example i can say that this if you notice this set of natural number comma addition so i can say this addition is a function this addition this this is your operation this is your binary operation and this is this is a function actually because what will happen this addition is a function from n cross n to n what it means that it, this addition it will take two elements same or different so this addition will take two elements for example it can take these two elements and it will give another element okay so for example this addition can take these two elements and it will give another element okay this addition can take these two elements and it will give another element so this is the idea so i can say this addition this is a function from n cross n to n it will take two elements of uh, two elements of this set and it will give another element of this set so you can notice two element will be taken another element you will get two elements will be taken another element you will get the same thing i can write like this okay so plus of 1 comma 2 this same thing i can also write as 1 plus 2 both are same okay there is no difference so the idea is that this addition this is a binary operation on set of natural number because whatever two natural number you take this bind this addition if you take any two natural number means if you take this and this if you take any two natural number then the result of then this result will be natural number this also will be natural number so this is the idea of binary operation you can notice this set is not closed under addition operation why this set is not closed under addition operation because you can clearly see that if you take 4 comma 4 or you, if you take 2 comma 3 then the result is not in the set so this this set is not closed under the operation addition okay so this is the definition of binary operation binary operation remember binary operation means it will apply on two elements same or different and also it must be closed it must be closed so binary operation another name is closed operation so binary operation on non empty set is a function from a cross a to a it means it will take two elements of this set and it will give another element of this set so binary operation is basically closed operation i can say this is another definition this is a closed operation okay because you can notice it will take two elements of set a and it will give another element of set b uh, set a okay now for example addition subtraction multiplication these are binary operations on set of integers if you take any two integer if you take a comma b if you take any two integer okay then you can clearly see their addition also will be integer their subtraction also will be integer and their multiplication or their multiplication also will be integer okay addition is binary operation on set of rational number q means set of rational number because if you take any two rational number like a plus b c plus d so if you take any two rational number like this is a rational number this is a rational number and then the result also will be rational number okay so the result you can just check it so this result is also rational number okay division is not a binary operation on set of integers why the division is not binary operation because binary operation what it will do it will take two elements of this set so if i take for example these two elements okay if i take these two elements then you can clearly see that 2 divided by 3 this does not belong to integer this is not an integer so i can say division is not a binary operation on set of integers because it is not closed okay so binary operation is basically closed operation it will take two elements of set a and it will give another element of set a next division is binary operation on what okay so division is binary operation on set of rational numbers minus non-zero rational number i can say so division is binary operation this division is a binary operation on set of non-zero rational number remember division is not a binary operation on uh, set of rational number if you have set of rational number and division this is not closed this is not closed why this is not closed because if you do set of uh, rational number then you can see if i take these two elements like a is 2 and b is 0 then what will be a divided by uh, a divided by b so that is basically 2 divided by 0 and this is not a rational number 2 is divided by 0 that is not a rational number okay so this is the idea that rational numbers these are not 
these are not closed under division operation but if i do if i do set of non zero rational number what is this q star this is set of non zero rational number it means now this is your base set in this base set we don't have zero now this is closed now this is closed because if you take any two non zero rational number take any two rows non zero rational number a a by b and c by d if you take any two non zero rational number this is non zero this is non zero you are taking two non zero rational number then the result also will be a rational number this result also will be a non zero rational number okay so this is the idea if you take any two non zero rational number then the result also will be a non zero rational number so i can say division is a binary operation on set of non zero rational numbers okay so very simple so binary operation is a function remember this is a function from a cross a to a it will take two elements of set a it will give another element of uh, set a okay so this is the idea like addition comma multiplication these are binary operation on set of integers okay so and remember one more thing that this this binary operation you can define anything okay so you can define any binary operation that you want any any binary operation can be defined for example let me define on set of natural number let me define a new binary operation and this new binary operation i will define like this a has b that is equal to max of a comma b so you can notice this is another binary operation why because it will take two elements this hash this is a binary operation this will take two elements of n same or different this will take two elements of uh, set of natural number and it will give another uh, another natural number so for example if i ask you it will like if i apply this hash on 2 comma 3 then the result will be max of 2 comma 3 then the result will be 3 okay remember this is same thing this is same thing i can also write like this this same thing i can also write as 2 hash 3 both are same okay so 2 hash 3 that basically means that max of 2 comma 3 and that is 3 so this is the idea so you can define any binary operation you want so this is a binary operation because it will take two values of set of natural number and if you give any two values of set of from set of natural number then the result also will be set of natural number for example if i give these two values 2 comma 2 then the max of 2 comma 2 that is 2 okay so basically i can say that for example 3 has 3 that is max of 3 comma 3 that is 3 okay so you can define any binary operation that you want so binary operation is nothing but a may this is just a function function from a cross a to a okay so this is the idea so binary operation remember binary operation is same as closed operation so every binary operation must be closed so the closure property must be satisfied so the closure property is same as binary operation if you are saying that if you are saying that operation has on set s is binary if you are saying that some operation is binary it if and only if it is closed so closure property is same as binary operation binary say operation is same as closure property both are same things okay so and remember binary operation is a function from s cross s to s it will take two elements of s and it will give another element of s and this is the definition of closure property closure property means you take any two elements of set s and the result also will be in the set s so binary operation and closure property both are the same things